Let's practice drawing a monster and adding it to the middle of your stage using some action script coding. So how do we do this? Well you go found new and you draw a monster. So I'm going to draw a fearsome monster. You can even use your paint bucket tool and you can draw in some eyes after changing the color and then you highlight it you right click convert to symbol and choose a uh, movie clip so this is one way of doing it so once you make it you can even delete it off your stage assuming that you have a movie clip now if you go to your library you can see I already drew one and uh, if you double click into it you can see I drew it very nicely it's it's beautiful reminds me of the old school games Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior let's go uh, take a look at the library here so once you have your symbol and uh, I just named my symbol name slime but you can call it whatever let's right click properties what I want to do is I want to connect my flash file with uh, some kind of code file which is monster.as that's my class file monster so here I saved my flash file in the same folder as my monster as file so I have no need to type in com dot you know the, uh, all these series of com dot as gamer dot yada yada game one dot monster there's no subfolders so for now just keep it simple the same name as your class name okay and we made sure that we clicked on export for action script it basically means that we want to somehow connect this picture to our code click on OK so we know that this picture here is connected to this uh, this uh, code file so this code file I want file save as and this happens to be an action script file and I called it monster.as you can also go file new and you go new action script file this is where you go if you want to uh, create your own uh, action script file and we have package and you always have this at the beginning of your class file and um, <clears throat> you have your import statements next and these are your standard uh, import statements just copy and paste them from some previous code that you've been working with unless you can memorize that and we have a public class monster and so the part that you can't forget is to make it extend movie clip because we're saying that our class classes are like templates of what uh, your monster is gonna be like in terms of all the functions all the things it can do as well as all the different variables or properties all the attributes the monster has don't, don't forget to actually extend movie clip because we're saying that the monster class is based off a of movie clip. So movie clip has various properties and functions that we want to be able to inherit to get all the different functions and variables from. So let's not worry about too much of the details for now. Let's just uh, get this working. So we have a public class monster extending a movie clip. All right. And this is the monster's constructor. This is where the code actually begins as soon as the monster is created. But right now we have nothing in there. All we have is a comment slash slash means we're just adding some human readable text so that humans can understand what's going on okay let's go back to our main program here and go to frame one and uh, just type in some code here if you go to uh, window actions or F9 here is our code we have variable M1 I just called it monster one M1 you could have called it blah blah but I called it M1 of what type colon of the type monster so this is uh, the actual data type we can actually create your own data types you can make your own classes and thus we made our own data type and then the way we actually create a monster and make the computer use up memory to create this monster is use the word new so when you say equals new monster you're actually allocating computer memory such that this m1 variable uh, now has all the power of a monster so remember that this m1 variable extends movie clips so movie clips have x and y positions 
So we have the x position is equals to stage dot stage width. This is a special blue word. It's reserved. It's built into Flash. This is the width of your stage. Our screen is not that wide. So this is yay many pixels divided by 2. So we center it. And then we have the y value also divided by 2. And finally, stage dot add child m1 actually slaps that monster onto the stage. Let's press control enter. So you see the slime is here. Um, if I change this code here, m1.x equals 100, and then 100, this code still works. You can see that this is coordinate 00. You go 100 to the right and 100 down, and that's your monster. Stage.addChild is the same thing as addChild. Let's press uh, Control Enter, and you see that this still works. All right, so we now know how to uh, connect our actual um, movie clip with um, our actual class file, which is great because now by doing everything through code, uh, we can um, be able to um, draw hundreds of monsters uh, on the fly as opposed to manually having to drag the monsters in from the library. If I had to drag this in, this this uh, definitely would only be feasible uh, to a certain extent. All right, we have some more power.